if Neo advertises like how Lee Auto advertises, deliveries would be over 50,000 per month and Neo stockholders would be made millionaires. First, let's take a look at how Lee Auto advertises. And this is not against Lee Auto. This is to complement how successful they are at advertising, to selectively advertise. So when it comes to weekly delivery numbers, Lee Auto is always happy to put in Neo inside that chart. But you might ask the question, where is BYD? But then when it comes to Lee Auto advertising traditional strength, hey, look, uh, where is Neo? Well, obviously, Neo has higher traditional strength than Lee Auto, but Lee Auto se selectively chooses not to advertise anybody that's above them. Always makes customers think that they're number one, and hence reaffirming people's purchase decisions. Hey, Look, that's the best selling vehicle of the week. Uh, yeah, this is a very good move that I'm making. I'm buying Lee Auto, very nice. And not to say Lee Autos are bad cars, they're pretty decent cars, but I think Neo can learn something from how Lee Auto advertises. What Neo can really do is to advertise with a bit more comparative purposes. Neo doesn't like to compare themselves with others. They don't actively say, hey, we're better than them. I think that's a very nice move, but however, you guys have also reflected this in this market right now with so many competitors everybody's fighting there's a price war going on if you don't advertise your strengths and show them that you're the best to the customer then well the competitor isn't going to be that graceful and merciful they will advertise all their strengths and try to badmouth you and in the end, the customer thinks their car is better when in actuality, that might not be the case. And I promised you guys that I was gonna make a few of these posters to advertise Neo, really showcase that Neo is on top. And we're gonna compare my version of posters and Neo's version of those posters. And guys, it's not like Neo doesn't wanna compare themselves. I mean, back in April, uh, May when deliveries were absolutely not that good. We can see that they were getting a little bit desperate. Neo CEO when they unveiled the ES6, he did say if you're considering buying a GLC or an Audi Q5 or BMW X3, you guys should uh, consider a Neo first and test drive the car. Obviously, you know, there's that, there's that competition, right? Of course, but why won't Neo put that in the promotion? How are their cars better than Mercedes or, or BMW or Audi? Which aspects? Customers don't know. That's the biggest problem, marketing. So I created a few posters. First of all, this poster, this is Neo's official poster. And this is to advertise to original strength. Remember how Lee Auto and did not include Neo in their to original strength promotions. Well, this is Neo's, I mean like, Come on, you look at Lee Autos and then you look at Neos. Lee Auto clearly makes it seem that they're better than the competitor. That's very good, very strong marketing. What about Neos? 90% aluminum full frame body, cool, but you don't really have a concept. Like, cool, I, yeah, is that better than the competitors? Is that worse than the competitors? Don't really know for sure. And then here's my version of the poster. Now, it doesn't look that pretty, I know I'm not specialist in graphic uh, graphic art and I'm not that good at posters but I tried my best this is my version of posters and it clearly showcases the traditional strength of Neo 85 and then the competitors and boy oh boy you're trying to say that you're the best but you're not even better than the sedan or ET5 the entry-level sedan you got to make that clear to the customers they got to know this and then at the very bottom have the famous phrase the auto CEO said that their car is the best SUV under 5 million RMB, which of course isn't the case, but it makes customers think, oh, that car is pretty good. I included that phrase down here. You can't be the best if you're not number one. And then my invite code, of course, people can scan it, test drive the car, etc. So that's my version of that poster to original strength. If you don't compare with the competitors, you ain't got killing power, all right? Next poster. This poster is pretty interesting. So Neil took number one place for the ES6 in the Moose test. That's a very impressive score. However, this is Neil's marketing uh, poster. 84 kilometers per hour, very, very nice. But if you just show this to regular pedestrians, they don't have any concept of, of where, how good this is. Is there somebody that's 85? 
Uh, I want to buy an X7. Is that car 95? Maybe that car's better than this. Uh, you know, you show me 84, cool. I don't have a concept about how good that is. So that's Neil's poster, version of the poster. And here's my version of the poster that I also made. And mind you, this st statistic, all right, it's all from uh, Dong Cho Di, but Neil actually had this chart, this, this graph, but they chose not to promote it. So this is actually from Neo itself. I just put them together and take a look. Neo's number one, ES6 number one, and then you let everybody know what the ranking is. I think this is very, very important. You wanted that car, well, that part car is 20th place. You sure you want the 20th place or you want first place? Or you want that car, you thought that car was really good. Well, that car is 40th place. You think you sure that car is really good? You want that car? You gotta compare, you gotta guide the customers to compare uh, different aspects of the car to showcase that your car is the best product for the customer. Otherwise, the competitor is gonna do the same and, and swoop the customer away. I think if Neil went a bit more head on on marketing and really compared themselves with others because there's so many aspects of the car and this is only two posters, they can probably make like at least 10 posters about comparing the cars with other cars, the benefits, all that stuff, showcase that Neo is actually number one on top, man, sales will absolutely explode because this type of marketing is working, it's just that Lee Auto is doing it. And talking to the Neo sales reps, talking to a lot of customers, they all feel this kind of twist in their heart. I mean, like, why won't they just uh, be more aggressive in their marketing? It's making all of us so anxious and you guys as well. The cars are so good, but you don't tell the customer how good it is. Oh, how painful is that? But I feel that if Neil is able to go more aggressive on the marketing and just, and especially in this environment where it's doggy dog situation, price war, everything, then Neil will absolutely succeed on top. Inform the customers that, hey, the stats don't lie. We are the best in this aspect, this aspect, this aspect. Boom. Do you want first place or you want 50th place? Sales will absolutely explode. There's still customers thinking that battery swap is manual. You, you swap with your hand. I was talking to this one customer at Shine Hills and holy smokes, that customer thought, you know, the battery is too heavy, I can't lift it. And she was making that excuse to me. I'm like, what? What? You can't do a battery swap because the battery is too heavy and you can't lift it? Jesus, it's automatic. There's no lifting. You don't even need to get out the car. But a lot of this, you know, it's 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 just not there. So Neil really needs to boost up their aggressive marketing. And I think shareholders also want to see Neil become more aggressive in marketing, not just be so humble. In the price war, you cannot be humble. You gotta go all out and get your market share. And if Neil's able to do this and implement aggressive marketing, I'm very confident sales will absolutely explode. People will love the product. Most people just don't know what Neil is good at and, and don't know how good the product is. Let me know if you like these posters. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.